Now to the NCAA Swimming Championships. Transgender swimmer Leah Thomas made history this week, but some say her success should come with an asterisk. ABC's Elwin Lopez is in Atlanta with more. Elwin, good morning. Hey, well, good morning. Just a day after becoming a national champion, the Penn swimmer tied fifth in the 200 yard freestyle event, but Friday's loss is unlikely to put an end to the controversial debate. This morning, Leah Thomas, the first openly transgender athlete to win an NCAA Division I title, tying in fifth in Friday's 200 yard freestyle race, failing to snag a second national title. The fifth year Penn senior swam her way to victory on Thursday in the women's 500 yard freestyle event, touching the wall in four minutes and 33 seconds. <laughs> But her triumph was met with boos from inside the Macaulay Aquatic Center, where the national championship is being held. And outside, a group protesting Thomas competing on the women's team, facing off with her supporters. Thomas spent three seasons on the Ivy League's men's team before undergoing hormone therapy. The NCAA requires that trans female athletes go through one year of hormone suppression therapy and Leah Thomas did that. She satisfied every rule. Skylar Baylar, the first openly transgender athlete on an NCAA Division I men's team, cheering his friend from the stands. We should never have to prove that she is not good in order to say that she can compete. She should be able to be celebrated purely for her athletic ability, just like any other woman. But critics like Nancy Hogshead Makar, a former Olympic swimmer, argue she has an unfair advantage. Leah Thomas has been through puberty, so that's 10 years of having testosterone making broader shoulders and bigger lungs and strength. Just last month, more than a dozen of her teammates penned a letter to the university claiming Thomas had an unfair advantage over competition in the women's category. The anonymous ink to paper met with an open letter signed by hundreds of current and former swimmers, backing up Thomas stating in part, we express our support for Leah Thomas and all transgender college athletes who deserve to be able to participate in safe and welcoming athletic environments. Thomas telling ESPN Thursday she just tries to ignore the critics as much as possible. I try to focus on my swimming, uh, what I need to do to get ready for my races, and just try to block out everything else. And Thomas will be back in the pool again today to compete in the 100-yard freestyle event. Eva. I would love his for us there. Thank you. Well, hey there, GMA fans. Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff here. So go on, click the subscribe button right over, right over here to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day, anytime. We thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the morning on GMA.